Example 3. Solving an equation involving rational exponents and factoring. We want to solve 3x to the 3 fourths, which is equal to x to the 1 half. So in this scenario, what we want to do is we want to set, since we both have um, x's on both sides of the equation, okay, we need to get all the x's on one side and set it equal to 0 so that we can set this up using the zero product rule. So we're going to subtract x to the one half to both sides of the equation. So we get 3x to the 3 fourths minus x to the one half which is equal to zero. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure that these exponents have the same denominator. So we have 3x to the 3 fourths minus well one half is the same thing as 2 fourths so we have minus x to the 2 fourths which is equal to zero. Now what that allows us to do is that we can factor out x to the two-fourths from both terms on the left. If I multiply this back through, we can read this statement. It says, where did the x to the one-fourth come from here? Remember that when we multiply two numbers with the same base, we add the exponents. Therefore, if we multiply back x to the two-fourths and using the distributive property, we get the expression of what we had before the factoring, which is what should happen because x times x, add your exponents 2 fourths plus 1 fourths gives you 3 fourths. And then when we factor out the x to the 1 to 2 fourths, we have 1 remaining. So the next step is to use the zero product rule. We have x to the 2 fourths, which is equal to 0 or 3x to the 1 fourth minus 1 is equal to 0. Now over here, we can solve by raising it to the power of the reciprocal, which is 4 over 2 on this side, and then we can raise 0 to the 4 over 2. Well, we're going to get x on the left side, and 0 raised to any number is going to give you 0. 3 to the x to the 1 fourth minus 1 equals 0. We're going to add 1 to both sides, and then we have to divide both sides by 3. And then in order for us to solve for x, we need to raise it to the reciprocal of the exponent. So the reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4 over 1. So we have x. And then 1 third to the power of 4 over 1 is the same thing as saying 1 third times 1 third times 1 third times 1 third, which is equal to 1 over 81. And that's how we're getting 1 over 81. So the two solutions are 0 and 1 over 81.